Hi, so we joined with uh, Neil on his boat Mojo. We've just finished Friday's race in the Swale Regatta. Of course, I've been out on uh, Mojo for the Swale Media Cup. Firstly, Neil, thank you very much for letting me come out on your boat again. No, pleasure, pleasure. I mean, it was a, it was a nice day out. It was a little bit more, um, a little bit faster than last time you came out, but it was, it was pleasant. Good. I was wondering if you could tell our listeners a little bit about the boat for us. Well, I bought the boat six years ago um, from a friend of my father's um, he had his boat out there and um, brought it back um, to south of France and then had it trailed it back and just been sailing obviously the Medway the Swale um, been over to Calais and um, you know our club which is called Cruising Club which I'm the um, Commodore for um, we hold our own um, you know little sort of regattas and rallies and cruises etc and um, it been up to London, um, St Catherine's Dock and so on and so forth so yeah just get out and about as much as we can basically. Now your boat's called Mojo, uh, how did it come to have that name? I don't know that answer, um, yeah, I knew um, four of the previous owners, as I said it changed hands a few times whilst it was in Mallorca um, and it was obviously named um, that I would think from from day one, um, but you never change a boat's name because it's it's bad luck or right. supposedly bad luck, and um, I think it's quite a cheeky sort of um, boat name as well. Normally they're after ladies, but um, yeah, it's, it's it's different. Everyone everyone knows her by name and obviously by sight, just due to the rig being a little bit more stepped back than most cruisers. Now I came out with you last year on the Friday. How did things go on the Saturday and Sunday of last year's regatta? Um, yeah, it went very well. I mean, the Saturday was actually quite quite blustery um, to start, um, going right out to the wind farm, round the outside of the island. Um, then once we'd done that, then we had, we turned in towards the swale, and we didn't fly a spinnaker, but everyone else mainly did because of the tide was behind us, um, or sorry, in front of us. It was it was quite a slow run. It took about four hours. <laughs> And I think we were about only one of the slow boats that actually managed to um, finish the, the course in time. Um, and then the Sunday, um, Sunday was quite a pleasant, um, pleasant run out um, once again. So that all went, all went very well. But not as um, breezy as this weekend, because um, it looks possibly like tomorrow might be cancelled. Um, right. Potentially, or alternatively, the course will be changed and we'll have a race around the inside of the island which would be very difficult because it's very very narrow in, in points so we'll have to see how the how the weather turns out but it's not looking good how did the, today go i mean to me we seem to be going a lot faster than last year we were because there was more wind um uh, unfortunately this boat doesn't go very well what's called a beam reach is when the, the wind's right on the side every boat has its best wind angle yeah. best sea conditions um today wasn't i say wasn't favorable it wasn't the best but um, no, we went well, we were going quite quickly, um, finished um, quite well, but unfortunately we didn't get you the uh, Media Cup Challenge trophy because there was another reporter in front of us, wasn't there? But yep. just, but there you go, next year. <laughs> we'll always try again. Uh, Neil, thank you very much for speaking to me once again. Thank you for letting me come out on your boat and uh, enjoy the race with you. Yeah, well, pleasure. And maybe next year, once again, if they're doing the same thing, you know, we can we can repeat it. Or maybe go on a faster boat, you might get the cup. <laughs> no, no, I've, I've enjoyed coming out on your boat. Pleasure. As we mentioned earlier, our very own Daniel Nash is all out at sea this lunchtime. And Daniel joins me live on the phone this afternoon. Daniel, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Yep. So you're all out at sea this lunchtime. What's going on? How come you're out at sea? Well, based on taking part in the Swell Media Challenge, uh, it's a Swell Regatta this weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, today, Friday's race is the, uh, the race up the uh, Medway from Queenborough. And uh, basically, there's um, all the local media, including BRFM, are all on different boats. And, oh, right. uh, I'm out on Mojo. Right. And um, we've just headed up the Medway and we've just turned round. So we're heading to near Gillian Marina. Um, and then as we just get before there, we turn round and head back to uh, Queenborough. Right. So you're on your way back at the moment. And just looking at the list of the other participants that are taking place, of course, you're representing BRFM. We've also got the Sheppey Gazette taking place. Also the Sheness Times Guardian and the Kent on Sunday. So quite a, quite a few taking part in this race. Uh, which, what sort of time did you set off? Uh, we set off around about half eleven. We were due to set off at half ten. Oh, right. Um, but there was some boats coming, and I think a barge being moored up, so we had oh, right. to wait um, an extra hour before we set off. Basically, there's two categories today. There's the slower boats, 
and the fast about so we set off around about half 11 I think it was and the um, the fast uh, boat set off um, near 12 sort of time I think it was oh right okay then so you're on your way back at the moment what's the sea state at the moment is it quite calm or is it rough yeah actually it's not too bad um, it's quite calm on the way back. The way going, we were going um, with the tide and we were sort of uh, not, you know, a little bit um, rough, but actually not too bad, actually. And on the way back, it's uh, fairly calm, really. Yeah, I looked out at the ridge just now and it seems quite calm. So at least you, you don't travel, uh, you don't suffer with seasickness, do you, Daniel? Well, I haven't so far. So that's I good. Hope it stays nice and calm and now uh, should be okay. <laughs> What's the weather like at the moment out there? Well, actually, I mean, it's not too bad. I think it's one of those things you probably wouldn't want bright sunshine because I think out on the water it'd be quite hot. So this sort of grey overcast cloud actually makes it a bit more um, comfortable, I think, on the boat. We've got a little bit of rain coming down, but, I mean, you know, it's not too bad, really. I think as long as it doesn't get too heavy, the rain... Uh, not too bad. That's it. So you left Queenborough uh, around about half eleven this morning. Where it, You went all the way up to Gillingham, did you say? Yes, yeah, more or less. I think just before Gillingham Marina. Oh, right. Uh, just looking at the uh, the piece of paper we got here in the studio about today's race, it says here that it's not all about the person being in the lead because it's kind of let me ju- a, a handicap system in operation. It says here which allows a full length and uh, indeed one reporter may finish behind another and still win due to a handicap system. How is that going at the moment? Who's in the lead at the moment? Do we know? Well, that's one of the things with the handicap. It's a job to, uh, to tell us a bit of paper says in front of you, you know, uh, theoretically, we could sort of be midway, but still yeah. be due to the handicap. And it's one of those things that they, once we've got back and all the time they're calculated, they then work out the handicaps and you find out where you are. So actually during the race, as sort of such, it's a job to tell exactly how you're doing. But we're making a good, steady progress. So, uh, you know, we're not doing so bad. That's it. Uh, you took part in this last year, I remember. I remember speaking to you this time last year. How did we yeah. do last year in the competition? Well, I don't think it was for many media taking place last year and I think we came sort of second or third but there was only three of us taking place oh right <laughs> let's hope we do better this time when do we actually yeah, find when do we find out the winner um, I think we should find out um, during the middle of the week and what they do is there's then a presentation um, in exactly a week's time mm. um, and I think it's taking place in Whitstable this year so that's when it's officially announced this time next week. Right, so it's all going on with the swell regatta. The whole point of today is the swell regatta, and it's not just today. It goes on throughout the course of the weekend. Just looking at this piece of paper here, it's not just the Queenborough clubs that are taking place either. It's also the Hollow Shore Cruising Club, the Queenborough Yacht Club, Whitstable Cruising Club, the Whitstable Yacht Club, and also the Konya Cruising Club. So a lot going on this weekend. Uh, do we know what else will be going on apart from today? Well, tomorrow um, you've got the um, trip. I'm just trying to think now. I know Sunday is the Whitstable, that's it, it's Whitstable, yeah. Right. Um, the Sunday um, is round to, uh, to Whitstable and they go round the far side of the island. That's probably the best time for listeners to see the boats because you see them sort of assembled, I think, round um, by Tesco. Oh, and right. then they go right round and uh, out to Whitstable way. Yeah, right. OK, Daniel, we'll let you get back to your race. Good luck for today, and let's hope that we that BRFM win against the other reporters. Uh, of course, we're not being nasty, but we would like to win. So good luck, Daniel. Enjoy the rest of your day out at sea, and thanks very much for joining us. Thanks. OK, and Daniel, speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.